When your organization or department has significant achievements, how can these tables highlight those successes? Why are most reports and data results presented in this form of tables that the company's departments have long been bored with? Today we'll be working together to transform the look of these KPI scorecard results into a much better report design. Visit our online store other-levels.com to get our templates and download datasets. We have KPIs in three levels, general manager, departments, and sector governance. Each KPI have five columns, department, the levels for which KPIs are applicable. Category, the basis for the targets to be achieved. The measure used for determining results. Then the KPI targets, and finally the progress, for the achievement against the goals. You can see that the same columns are applicable for departments KPIs as well as sector governance. To create any visual, we have to prepare base data for the same. We can use the tables as a base for the visual, but not in all the cases. You will get to know the reason as we progress during the video. Let's begin with creating a base data for visual. Copy all the data of the four columns except department column from all sheets. Disable wrap text. Remove all borders. Change the font type and size. Adjust the column width to display the text properly. Let's add a title for the first KPIs by inserting text box. Add title as General Manager KPIs. Format it as well. Change the font size and type. Remove the outline and fill color. We have completed the General Manager KPIs and will move to Department. As you go through the Department KPIs, you can see that it is different for each department. Hence, we will copy these columns for each department one after the other to our visual sheet. We will now add name of each department in above for easy identification. Then add the KPI using same format. Rename the title to departments. We are done with second KPI as well, and now we will move to third one. Let's begin by inserting the title. You will notice that on the sector governance sheet, the data of the columns, category, metric and target for each department are the same. Hence, we will not copy these columns repeatedly for different departments, and we will copy them once for all the departments. Then, we will insert the progress column for each department next to the previous department column. Also, insert the department name above each progress column for easy identification. Now, the company has KPIs identified for each individual separately. So we will also add these KPIs on our visual sheet.
You can see that the sheet has inconsistent formatting. Hence, let's format it. Select all cells and adjust the font size. Remove all borders. Align all the fonts to middle. Disable formula bar and grid lines. Now we will do formatting of all data column wise. Take a note that to make the visual appealing we will use same color with different shades for different data of each column. Firstly, select category column data and change the font color and alignment to left. Secondly, select metric column data and adjust the font color to a different shade. Now, to make the font type consistent, select full sheet and set the font type. Let's now select the target column data and adjust the font color to a different and lighter shade. Finally, we will select all progress column data and adjust the font color to different and darker shade. Also, align the font of department name to center and change the font color. You can use Format Painter to apply the same formatting to other cells with department name. Now, change the font alignment to left. Let's adjust the row height and column width for proper appearance. We have to adjust all text box properties to don't move or size with cells, so that it won't resize while resizing the columns. The visual is almost ready, but one thing is missing, adding border to it. So, let's start preparing it using a rounded rectangle shape. We will format it in a way that the shape border becomes the visual border. So, increase the border width to 23.75, then change the font color. Now remove the shape fill color. Finally, adjust the shape height and width and adjust the position. Lastly, Reduce the rounded part of the shape and delete one column to make it look appropriate. It's now time to add navigation pane to move between the sheets. Let's insert two side rounded rectangle from insert menu and rotate it to 270 degrees. Adjust the height and width to cover the entire blank space on the left side of the data. Adjust the rounded part of the shape to make it consistent with background border and move it back using send to back command.
There is blank space on the top left corner of the sheet besides background border. Also, group both the shapes together and send it back besides background border. Hence, also send that shape behind the background border and pane. The basic structure is ready for our dashboard. So, let's do some formatting to the sheet for proper appearance. Resize the title text box and adjust its position and adjust the column width. We will also change the shape properties of all titles to not move or resize with cells. Now we will extend the background border by change the cell colors to some extent on the right side and below to the same color as the background border color. Disable the heading, as we don't require the same. Let's insert the separator between all separate KPIs and different base. Adjust the rounded part of pane and background border. The main part without which the whole dashboard seems incomplete. The company logo. Now, we will format the pane. Add title for the dashboard and name of the company using text box. Change the font color and size to make it visible. Now add displayed data title, all KPI titles and data source title on the pane one after the other. Insert separator below each title using line shape. Let's add a box effect for the KPI's titles by inserting a rectangle. Format the shape by adjusting the size and applying outer shadow. Change the shape color same as pane. Group the title and separator and bring it to forward. Now move it above the box and group it together. Adjust the position and duplicate it for other titles and rename them.
Now, we will format the pane in such a way that only the title related to the selected sheet is visible and other titles are blurred by changing the font color. Also, we will remove the separator and scorecard text from the titles. This indicates which sheet has been displayed. This company located in the United States of America. So with this blue and red colors we need to insert stars. Using for displaying the scorecard in American theme and visual effect. Copy these stars. Change the color and distribute them horizontally. We will group the line of stars for easy duplication. Now duplicate this line and remove one star to arrange the line below the previous line in the middle of above stars. Now group these two lines of stars and duplicate it many times to create an appealing visual for scores. After all the stars have been copies, we will group them all together. Adjust the transparency of stars to make it lighter. It's time to include the management profile responsible for dashboard. We will insert a circle as background for management's picture using insert menu. Format the shape size and color. Now insert the management's photo using insert menu, illustrations pictures. Also, add name and designation of the responsible management. There is blank space below General Manager KPIs, wherein we will add some details related to the displayed visual. We have to begin by inserting the rounded rectangle as background for the details. We will then add the last update date, and management comments beside it. To make it more appealing, add some symbol of update. Add a line as a separator for other details to be added. Resize the background to make it appear properly. Now add the management comments. Finally, we have completed the full formatting of the visual. To ensure that it doesn't change with change in resizing the cells or changing the data, we will select all the shapes and change the property to not move or resize using the don't move or size with cells. You can see that how the sheets were appearing boring previously and how the dashboard visual looks appealing displaying the same data. We will now delete all the data sheets and copy the data source visual to display the data in visual format.
Rename the sheets as KPI titles to be displayed. Now, it's time to format all the visuals one after other. Let's begin with General Manager KPI Sheet. Delete all the KPI data displayed on the visual. Repeat the steps for all department KPI sheet. The current sheet pertains to general manager. Hence, we will highlight it and blur the data source. Move the formatting which applied for data source to general manager. But as you can see it is not visible and will go to shape format and enable selection pane. Now select the shape using pane and move it to forward. Adjust the position and size to highlight it. Now, we will repeat the steps on all department KPI sheet. This time we will highlight the All Departments title and move the formatting from Data Source to All Departments. It's time for the most interesting part of the visual, and that is hyperlink. Select the data source text box and insert a hyperlink to the data source sheet by selecting the data source place in this document. We can also add a screen tip for hyperlink, i.e. go to data source. Similarly, apply hyperlink and add screen tip to all departments and general manager. Repeat the steps of hyperlink on general manager and data source sheet. It's time to add data on General Manager Sheet. Insert a text box from Insert menu and give the cell reference to first KPI category from Data Source Sheet. Copy this text box to display all other data of Category column. Change the cell reference of each data to appropriate cell on data source sheet by changing the row numbers. Repeat the steps for all other column data. Here on the first text box for each column, we will change the column number.
We will now repeat all these steps for all departments sheet as well. And with that, we're finished today's video we will be completing the dashboard in one more video. And they will be ready by end of this week. I hope I have shown you something useful for you. Have a good day.